<laughs> and welcome to Let Them Talk. I'm Paul Durienzo, your host, and we got a great show in store for you because we're going to talk about women's rights in regarding art. And I find this fascinating. In Her Hands is the name of the art show. You can see behind us this way political Me Too, Black Lives Matter artwork. It's great. All right, now. <laughs> Let me introduce our guests. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves, and that way I'll get everybody's name. Starting here. I'm Julie Pepito. Um, I'm, I'm one of the co-curators of In Her Hands with Great. Orly Kogan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Caroline Wall. I'm the director of the Robert Mann Gallery. And I'm Orly Kogan. <laughs> And you are uh, one I'm of the co-curator. Yeah. Co-curator. Yeah. All right, great. So, tell us a little bit. Who wants to start off by telling us what's in the show? What's in the program? Caroline. Sure, I'd love to give you Caroline. a little introduction. So, we are really excited to be opening this show. It opens this Thursday, the fourteenth, from six to eight p.m. And the show is going to be on view at the gallery through August seventeenth. The show, as you know, is called In Her Hands, and it is um, a really exceptional group of works by 15 women artists who were given the big task of creating portraits of 15 women candidates who are coming up for election. Um, all of the artists who have been selected by Julie and Orly to be included in the show are artists who work in fiber-based mediums, so mediums that have been traditionally considered women's work. Mm -hmm. So to give you some examples, we're talking about embroidery, quilting. We even have a piece that includes sugar in it. So the culinary arts, there are pieces that are, um, are pieces of clothing, aprons, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. Now, Mir Maria de Los Angeles, who's one of the, was here, has been on this show a couple of times mm -hmm. on my radio show as well, WBAI. So, um, uh, she made dresses, of course, beautiful dresses that were there to e express her feelings as a, in part as a, a DACA person, Correct. someone who is here in the United States because they've been here all their lives, but under the Trump administration mm -hmm. faces a potential, even after all these years, with no roots anywhere else but America, a potential deportation, right? Mm -hmm. That's a, a serious, a serious mm -hmm. thing that she faces. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. And um, actually, Maria came to the show through a group that... Um, I had been working with, uh, protesting with, called We Make America, and she had worked with the same group, and that's mm -hmm. how I know about her. And she, interestingly, um, Joyce Kosloff, who uh, wasn't exactly part of the, well, actually, I, I don't want to get my history wrong, but uh, I think she was more a pattern de in design movement, but w like part of the history of mm -hmm. this, this movement of women's work, she was like one of um, the people who, uh, in the 60s was working along the same the same lines and also was working in We Make America and with Maria. In the 60s, well. in the 1960s. Yeah, so like we're part of this continuum mm -hmm. of women's work and redefining what it is, mm -hmm. whereas, um, you know, especially this year, uh, uh, in, in reaction to uh, you know, the Trump show and everything. Mm -hmm. that's what do you happening. think of Donald Trump? I always ask everybody that. <laughs> what do you think? Up or what down? What do I think of him? Up or down? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 I love that. This show is to, <laughs> to raise up uh, all, the, all these women candidates mm -hmm. and female artists. So mm -hmm. we're going hand in hand. I mean, it's, it's mixed media women um, of all different. Some of the candidates are very well known, mm -hmm. and others are, are not very well known. Tell Same us about with the, the artists. candidates. They're yeah. at all different levels in their careers. Tell us a little about the candidates. So I know you had Cynthia Nixon and Maxine Waters uh, mm -hmm. and others as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we try we try we tried very hard to get a really good mix of candidates. Of course, it's really hard because there's mm -hmm. so many women running this year, but we wanted to have some of like uh, the heavy hitters and the, you know, the people we really wanted to honor, like mm -hmm. Maxine Waters. All and, different races. Uh, from, and, uh, but we also wanted to bring in candidates like um, Cori Bush, who is, uh, mm -hmm. has been a, 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 a real activist in Ferguson, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of get, Get their well, we had the folks of Ferguson well. here on the show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The the people from the video of people who actually videotape what happened and were there during the whole thing. Oh, they were wow. all here on the show. Yeah. Oh, there were so many. Yes. There were, there were so many candidates and there are so many artists. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were saying, we stopped at fifteen just by virtue of space and time and uh, but 
this could go on. I mean, well, yeah. there's 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 a really good field right. to choose from right yeah. now, which is and wonderful, yeah. and yeah. very exciting. Yeah. And this has show has been, I think, you know, very much about women inspiring yeah. other women, yeah. and to give these these artists this challenge of um, creating a portrait of a candidate and it's it's been a really unique experience for many of them so this heard. is this is part of the resistance you feel uh, this is like if what you call the resistance the general like umbrella term for all the folks since January 20th last year who've been fighting you know against what the, these horrible things that have been happening well the way that I it's came an opportunity and I the mean, way I came at it was as um, as a well I feel like that I, I, ca I come at it from an activist angle because um, I've been part of many protests, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, the Women's March, of course, but, you know, <laughs> Climate March, Science March, mm -hmm. Science March, Immigrant March, um, Tax March. Uh, uh, oh, what was the question? Well, you yeah, know, about the resistance. That oh, this yeah. is, you're explaining it beautifully. Mm -hmm. right. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Great job. <laughs> right? I'm so happy to have you guys and have you doing this, and we need to get this out to as many people mm -hmm. as possible because we're living in such dangerous times. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. right? I mean, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> say it. Um, but, but I feel like um, that right now, you know, there's there one aspect is being in the street, but mm -hmm. another that something that I think nobody really realized before is that voting is actually activism. Mm -hmm. And I mean, of course it is. Like almost a hundred years ago was the first time women were able to vote. Like mm -hmm. that anniversary is coming up. And, uh, but I think people forgot about that. And so that's part of what this show is about. So it's like highlighting that this is another form of activism really is voting. Mm -hmm. And so that's why these women candidates, because you see this explosion of women candidates, mm -hmm. right? We yeah. have a yeah. large, uh, although, you know, the New York Times is always saying we can't win and all that stuff, but you know, we, we have these candidates out there and I never listen to the New York Times anyway. <laughs> Fake news, <laughs> right? So um, oh, tell us where the studio is, what are the, you know, the gallery, where, the gallery sure. and, and how people can get there and all Absolutely. that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So yeah. Robert Mann Gallery is at 525 West 26th Street, um, right next to the High Line. Um, the show is open daily starting mm -hmm. on the 14th. Right. And Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through Saturday. And then later mm -hmm. in the summer, it will be Monday through Friday. So there's yep. lots of time to see the wonderful show. Yep. Um, and there's a great reception this Thursday, which I'm uh -huh. really From excited six about. 6 to 8. 6 right. to 8 p.m. Yeah. Okay, 8 p.m. Yeah. So at the location. Wonderful. So, uh, okay. So, tell us um, how did this? You know, you're, uh, what are some? Who are some of the, the? Let's go through it like more. Like, who are some of the people who are exhibiting, and what are some of the exhibits? Let's start with what, what's behind us right now. That's a good word, place so, to start, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sh shall I? Or sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah please do. So, <laughs> so this piece was was made by Alice Beasley, who lives in California, and she's actually in Barbara Lee's district, which is not always what happened mm -hmm. with. Uh, with the candidates, like often they weren't in the same district. Sure. And um, actually, we started out with her having Maxine Waters, mm -hmm. but she re she requested Barbara Lee because she realized that Barbara Lee was going to be in the show, and someone else had her. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, Barbara Lee is uh, is an idol of hers. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm using the correct word, but she really loved Barbara Lee, and um, and she's a she's a quilter who we found just by looking for artists who do women's work, which is this very, mm -hmm. very rich history now since the 60s of women using han handiwork in their art. Okay. And, and this artist happened to, to be very, to know the candidate and be very interested in her platform. But there are other artists mm -hmm. that didn't know of the candidates yeah. and, and, and they investigated them and got so excited the about that they their chose. particular candidate that they were assigned after. But we assigned, I this assigned it. This is yeah, like we did a, research I mean, yeah. and then yeah. assigned them. And, and they got so excited about the ones and because it informed the portrait they were going to make. Mm -hmm. so, so in some of them, they incorporated bits and pieces of symbolism that implies what their platforms are mm -hmm. in various pieces. I see, right, very interesting. So let's, uh, although we can't, we're not in a position to show all the ones we wanted mm -hmm. to. They're all online on the website also. And yeah. where's the website? robertman.com and the whole show will be viewable online as mm -hmm. of Thursday. Okay, Robert Mann with two N's, M-A-N-N. Yeah. Yeah. And there's right. a great press, right. uh, press, press release, release. That, yeah. that describes it beautifully. Right, so say. people can get more information there at the Absolutely. website, which is great. All right, and so let's let's go through, so okay, Maria's been here, we've seen her yes. dresses and the work she yeah. does, mm -hmm. and, and Kinza, I don't know if Kinza Najim is on this one, but she did these beautiful uh, 
uh, Shador's with uh, Made of American flags and stuff mm -hmm. and different oh, yeah. flags we of the didn't, world. We didn't get her for this show. But yeah, yeah, she was on yeah. and we talked about that as well. So we, I've been following this for a while. So it's great we're coming to this. This is yeah. perfectly good. So, so who are some of the other folks who are there and what are they doing? What well, you have, where's the, I have, a, I have a cheat sheet. We oh, the cheat sheet. Go with it. Definitely go with it. That's fine. And you can show it to the camera. That's what it's for. Yeah, well, that You can see it. Uh, Kate Kretz. Maybe I can just say yeah. them all. Say can them I say all. all say the them, names? but describe. Yeah. Tell. Spend a minute to describe each name. Well, so, go ahead. Uh, yeah. do you want to? No, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Kate Kretz is an incredible <laughs> artist. She's <laughs> so skilled. But no, stitch, stitching work is only one of the things she does. <laughs> but she did. Um, she did. Uh, I'm going to say her name wrong. Pramila Jayapal. Do you know? Do you know that candidate? Anyways, she has been really amazing, um, also comes from an activist background, the candidate, and um, Kate Kretz, she does painting and all kinds of other things, but um, her really intricate stitch work uh, is what we have in the show of this candidate who is being arrested. Um, Why was the candidate arrested? Um, it Do you know the background? She uh, she got it from a particular photograph because yeah. it's a photo. It's a fo it's Robert Mann Gallery is normally a photography gallery that shows photo based art. This is such a departure of the show because it's it's not all photography, but it's loosely based in photography where some are references. So the particular image that the person that um, Julie's talking about uh, found this image on the internet, and so she used it as a reference. So that's yep. how photography comes to play with that particular piece. Some people use photographs, some people just use it as a reference within their work. But there's always some some element connecting yeah. the work and the I show to photography. I so love that's well, our, we're here our on roots. <laughs> we're on yes. camera right now, <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell we yeah. love photography. I don't even have time to go through every single person. Well, yeah, no, so I'll, yeah, I'll pick a, a couple more. Uh, yeah. um, uh, Jane Wagner Deschner. Mm -hmm. She um, she's actually she she does photographs that she um, made a collage of the uh, a traditional um, oh gosh I'm gonna forget what uh, her background is I think it's Vietnamese um, the candidate Stephanie uh, Congressman Stephanie Murphy she um, her her background she is she is um, uh, her family's from Vietnam and so she did a, a dress that is traditional. Um, Vietnamese, and mm -hmm. she used pictures of her from her life and stitched them together with words over them of her platforms of the, ca her quotes. the candidates. And where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she a candidate? What what jurisdiction? Do you know what state? Or oh God, I think it was Florida. Is it Florida or Georgia? I think it's Florida. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I red state. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the way, right? Mm -hmm. Red. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember <laughs> all the details of the candidates <laughs> That's right okay, now, right. but they they That's great. they it's were right. chosen for um, yeah. you know. For their stand for people, for the for the mm -hmm. main stand right. for no, people. You mm -hmm. don't have Sarah Palin. No, <laughs> no Sarah Palin. <laughs> She's a woman candidate right? <laughs> yeah. for something. They're, they're all, they're all <laughs> and I just wanted to mention Jane yeah. Wagner Deschner. That was a, a really wonderful oh, right. experience. Um, you know, she was as assigned this yeah. candidate to work with. She did a lot of research. She created this incredible piece, and she had the opportunity to meet the candidate and show her the oh, work right. and talk to her. And I think it was a really wonderful experience yeah. all around that she really shared a lot of information about with us. And right. um, yeah, so I she think would the know experience of it was pretty exciting. <laughs> Right. And we yeah. invite all the candidates and all their, you know, to come see the show. Yeah. From all over the country, basically, yeah. right? Yeah. We're yeah. hoping all some right. of them might yeah. be able to see it. Yeah, yeah. the whole idea yeah. is to take these these two these two aspects of women's work and combine them so that we can empower each other and mm -hmm. uh, and support each other. And support mm -hmm. each other. So we have like the the artists highlighting these politicians and honoring them. Mm -hmm. And at the same time they bring attention to the artists. And it's like the symbiotic relationship for where 30 women uh, um, are helping each other, which is, is more the kind of world that I think we, we all want to live, live in. in. We, we want to be helping each other. <laughs> all right, great. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so next, what do you have? What else? Uh, yeah. Let's anyone go through else it all. Let's talk about not all of them. Yeah, pass it around. It's great. Rebecca. Simmering. Simmering, mm -hmm. yeah. She is uh, another artist that did a suit, like a, a full body suit, almost like a Nick Cave, like live, mm -hmm. you know, suit someone could wear. Um, all made out of cut out 
quotes and articles and newspaper ar articles from of her candidate. From the candidate, Tammy Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the... Oh, Tammy Baldwin from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's yeah. where I went to school, so I know, oh, yeah. Yeah. I know Madison, right. Wisconsin yeah. very well. <laughs> yeah. She's very popular there. And then did her, Beloved. stitched her portrait by hand in a yeah. button that, mm -hmm. that the suit yeah. has I'm sorry, don't, it. don't tap your, oh. you're oh. tapping your mic. <laughs> 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 that's okay. Yeah. Um, Great. There's so, I mean, there's so, you have to come to the show. <laughs> yeah. well, and we're going to say, you. now, yeah. let's, let's remind people, where is the show where you can actually see the things we're talking about, and mm -hmm. you can see an example just, of, yeah. oh, but yeah. we, we don't want to show everything to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. We want to come see it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so, again, the show is at the Robert Mann Gallery at 525 West 26th Street, opening this Thursday, the 14th, from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, and and it runs through? Runs through August 17th. So okay. there's a good amount of time to come see it. Right. But join us for the and opening. And it's right by the uh, 26th Street, right by the uh, High Line. Right by High the Lines. Lines. So right. Starbucks. Exactly. Yeah. Starbucks is right there, too. <laughs> 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 I don't know, we'll go to Starbucks now. But I guess they're cool. They, they closed down and tried to talk sense into the employees. <laughs> and there's a lot of info on the on the website. Absolutely. The press release right. and the Robert address and the right. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, and so some more. Sure, so one other piece that um, I'd love to mention is by Susan Graham. And oh, right. Susan's is a really interesting piece in the show in consideration of the materials that she worked with. Um, it is a combination of elements created in sugar, mm -hmm. um, so connecting and to- And porcelain together. And porcelain together, so connecting, of course, to, to, the, to that idea of cooking mm -hmm. and using and that kind of women's work. Mm -hmm. um, a beautiful, very delicate installation yeah, that they you were mentioning. Look like um, yeah. th they actually lace. look like lace, mm -hmm. so it's like this interesting combination of like this traditional, you know, traditional woman's work subject reinterpreted through porcelain and sugar. And this um, is the first time she's ever done a portrait. So for for some for to to put the show together, it was a challenge for some of these artists because they were portraiture artists, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we wanted <laughs> that face, the recognizable face, mm -hmm. and and also to portray. Contemporary art in the portraiture without a snarky slant, mm -hmm. you know, um, to yeah. to raise up mm -hmm. right, the right. idea, yeah. which often happens when you try and t paint a picture of somebody in a different sort of medium. You might get like a funny looking. Yeah, sure. Right, and right. so it was it was oh, yeah. challenging and and, yeah. and wonderful for okay. for everyone. I think right. the experience. And who's the person that she focused on? The she did. Uh, oh, Luba, Luba Gretchen Shirley, who is mm -hmm. actually a candidate for Congress on Long Island running against um, Peter King, who has oh. been there for a long time. And she's yes. she's very... Um, a real Trumpoid. She, she came out, uh, she, she started getting active after Trump was elected too. Sure. And um, noticed that locally she could do a lot more and really wanted to, she, she went to the Women's March and was very involved with the women. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, she was in the news lately because um, I believe she was the first woman ever who was able to use campaign funding for childcare during her campaign. Oh, uh, she got permission to do that? Yeah. Interesting. So that was in the news. Right, great. So, so, oh, right, so we have a portrait of her by oh. this artist. She's yeah. done in so lace yeah. and yeah. ceramic, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You have to come and see that, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> you have to see it, right? right? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Also That's something you, you mm. can't really experience unless you see it. This is also very interesting if you see anyone uh, wants to talk about that. Okay, so Diane. Okay. Diane Meyer's piece. Go ahead. Diane Meyer did a did a piece of Max she did Maxine Waters. Mm -hmm. And um, and on her piece it says uh, in uh, she does cross she stitch over quote. over the um, it's it's like a an interview with her and someone from Fox News. Oh right, and over oh, stills, like, a like still. photograph yeah. stills, yeah. 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 Okay. and then the, over the, the faces yeah. of the of the um, other interviewer. Let me see. Let it's of the <laughs> other <laughs> interviewer. No, is, right. You can't I see. It's see very right. tiny. Right. Very tiny. Right. Right. It's yeah. not sure. Of cross <laughs> she's crossed it over them, so it looks like it's bit it's pixelated or bitmapped, and then it has one of her quotes, which says. I'd like to say to women everywhere, don't allow these dishonorable people to imitate, Im intimidate you mm -hmm. or scare you. Be who you are. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. So, And that's what Maxine Waters is famous for that. Yeah. She and definitely says what she believes. Yeah. Many of the artists have put quotes in there. There's, there's mm -hmm. quite a bit of text. Mm -hmm. Within several pieces, mm -hmm. but not too much. Like it, not there, too much, there's but a lot of just I mean, the right amount. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it was very hard uh, assignment, I think, for a lot everyone, including me, to try to 
explain what these women meant without using words. Mm -hmm. because who, is your, who is your politician? I'm Cynthia Nixon. You're Cynthia Nixon, yeah. right? Who's, yeah. Uh, I th it came out of nowhere. Yeah. I didn't really know her from TV because I don't watch that much TV and I didn't watch that show. I didn't either. I, so I wasn't familiar with her, <laughs> although the face just seemed <laughs> familiar too. when I saw it. You know, I'd seen, yeah. I guess, seen the face in ads or something like that. And uh, but immediately she was saying such amazing, so many amazing things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, mm -hmm. really. I mean, she spoke at the marijuana legalization rally, yeah. which is like toxic to except like two politicians and mm -hmm. all, and poli you know that's why Trump all of a sudden wants to legalize marijuana because mm -hmm. every politician who usually is under attack for some corruption thing runs to the pot people as the final straw yeah. on the bottom yeah, of the barrel. Yeah, the piece I did, right? I put a marijuana So to come at the yeah, beginning, that's, right. that, yeah, that's unusual <laughs> to come at the very beginning, you yeah. know, and say we want your support out there yeah. and open, right, before yeah. any scandal hits or anything like that. Yeah. Well, that was I think brave, that's been a smart courageous. thing that has happened is that, that, that Democrats have finally been like, we're not going to hide from these things that you're attacking us for. We're going to... We're going to stand up for, for the, because legalizing marijuana leads to so many other things, right? Like that, that right. Ha, you know, incarceration of people who. Right. It um, would be reduced. And all the people who were arrested, uh, you know, if you smell marijuana and they kick down the door and arrest them for something else, all those charges might have to go too. Right. It was illegal search. Yeah. That's why they didn't want to legalize it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's a big headache. But the fact of the matter is, and we're going off the subject, but it's interesting, since all the police who smoke marijuana, all the prosecutors who smoke marijuana, all the judges who smoke marijuana, mm -hmm. all the court workers who smoke marijuana, it's pretty hypocritical. Right. It's I can't think of anything more absolutely. hypocritical than putting people in jail for mm -hmm. marijuana when half the country does it. Right, right. It's very, you know, we'll pick you. Yeah. It, can I can I come back to Cynthia yes. Nixon? Yes, hey, let's go back to Cynthia Nixon <laughs> after that. Um, one I of the things out. that was interesting about yeah. the show is that you know, with all these different candidates, of course, there's going to be disagreements uh, within their platforms of what they do and mm -hmm. like different perceptions of people and like mm -hmm. you know, there's 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 so many different uh, people are different and candidates are different and. Um, uh, most of these candidates are really standing for the people, but there are there are some divisions in the Democratic Party between like you know, not feeling comfortable with Gillibrand and like. You I'm know, doing some Kristen really Gillibrand. Are. You do and Kristen? Yeah. Gillibrand. Oh. Yeah. Great. So and, and so we have them both in the show. What, what's yeah. your uh, what, what was how did you do Kristen? What um, was your? Um, I did it on a vintage apron. Oh, yeah. Um, so it harkens back to women in, in oh, wearing, wearing aprons, aprons and, apron, and like doing women's mom. work. Yeah, right. And I also um, had printed some old, some original uh, from photographs, um, women protesting. Mm -hmm. Like, we're still protesting. We're still on the streets. Mm -hmm. We've been protesting for just to get the vote, and we're still protesting. Mm -hmm. So there's that, and then, and then current image of people protesting mm -hmm. and the signs we have now that, that you know, against guns, all, all the various things that, that right. people are hitting the streets now and protesting. So it shows this historic background of protesters trying to get the word out. And mm -hmm. also there is something I, I put in my piece that I don't know that, are, that are, is any, in any others um, that I thought was so important that um, it was a little bit overlooked when I thought of, when we were thinking about uh, mm -hmm. women and women's work and, and yeah. candidates, and I was thinking motherhood. <laughs> it's a yeah. huge <laughs> part <laughs> right, right. of being yeah. a woman. Mm -hmm. right. um, yes. And so I found this amazing photograph of her swearing in with, um, with Biden, to, and she was holding her little boy, her little child, mm -hmm. and both of her little kids were there, and this little boy was was in, like in, in, looking at his mother with Angelic. both his hands mm -hmm. on her face while she was uh. swearing in. And it was such a, an, a poignant, I mean, I, the, the photograph I found almost brought tears to my eyes because, mm -hmm. wow, what, I, I don't know if there are any men that bring their little children along during, you know, during this. Uh, Maybe some, hopefully it's changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. During this time, mm -hmm. but it, I mean, it was such, uh, su it just shows like what an intrinsic part of being a woman, being a mother, being being an artist, being a everything, right? Mm -hmm. Everything you do, being a candidate, that, that you can mm -hmm. do that, it that, all. That and actually it was so important to, mm -hmm. to, to put that part of of uh, motherhood and and mm. I'll leave it to Beaver, June Cleaver type of uh, mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. of thing, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. Smock, right? <laughs> I, I wanted to um, bring in the, what something else that made me think about is like a, this is clearly like a feminist show, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that um, sometimes that can be. I'll really ask the women who come on the show who are many. <laughs> 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 you can ask each of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I f I feel like um, 
that word feminism has been so misinterpreted as man hating mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like you know there's maybe a little fear to be attacked for that, for having an all women's show as exclusionary, actually, and not do, not, you know, when really feminism just means equality. Um, I think it's changing now because yeah. of the mm -hmm. Me Too movement, uh, be because of everything that yeah. it's so timely that it, I, I think people, younger people that might have uh, recoiled from that term are now jumping yeah. on board with it. Absolutely. I think it's really right. changing now in, in these times, and that's why this show is so exciting to do right now. It's yeah. it's like mm -hmm. bubbling to the top on so many levels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. it's yeah. It, you know, when you were talking about a feminist better. show and the opposition to the idea of feminists, I just thought of like the incel people who are like these violent maniacs who like are in celibate by their own self and are like a subculture of fascists that are out there I don't that know support that. Trump. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes, in celibate, in celibate men uh. who hate women. Who are, so the mm. last two or three of the shooters recently were mm. part of the incel. I heard about right. something about yeah. that yes. on NPR, uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, incel movement, right? Yeah. That's it's like a sub fascist group. You know, we have lots of them in this country. Not one like yeah, in other no, countries in history. Really we have grown. like a hundred different ones, and and women's rights are a big, huge target of what they're what right. they're what they're saying. That's a backlash too, right? Yeah, yeah. a backlash. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a good word for it. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and in U.S. American politics historically, it's always if you have if you go in one direction pretty far, you're going to have a backlash in the other. So right. always everybody's mm -hmm. always ready for that. Yeah. Well, the irony mm. about that is, though, though what we were just talking beforehand, like, you know, when I was growing up, I, I grew up thinking you know, my mom was like a strong uh, woman, and she she instilled in me that I could do whatever I want wanted, and I didn't really feel like there was any sexism. And then I moved to New York uh, to go to art school when I was 18, mm. and like I've been here for 30 years, and. It didn't occur to me till this year, till like all the awful things mm -hmm. Trump did about women and, yeah. and everything that happened that um, actually uh, sexism just went underground. And, and now this, the Me Too movement, Time's Up, you know, Black Lives Matter, all those things started by women and then this show. Yeah. Um, and we're in partially instigated by the politics that are happening now, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Absolutely. I mean, in, in yeah. a, a mm -hmm. weird absolutely. way, it's all bubbling forward because right. it's, wow. Is the art, we only have a minute to go, okay, but so uh, just briefly, yeah. does the art community suffer the same problems that the film community does with uh, like the Harvey Weinstein that led to the Me Too movement? It, it's, it's more nuanced, I think. I mean, mm -hmm. certainly there have been people in the art world that have left their positions because of harassment. Um, I, I don't mm. know that I want to yeah, start go, naming names. That's, that's I mean, the articles right are out there, yeah. but yes. Yeah, that's good right it's there. That's all, we only have a half a minute yeah. to go, so <laughs> <laughs> tell us about the event. I think What's it happens in every field. Right, yeah. okay, the um, event. Well, sure, okay. so again, uh, again the <laughs> show <laughs> opens on Thursday, the 14th right. from 6 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. It includes work by 15 wonderful women artists who are given a tall task of creating these amazing portraits of 15 candidates coming up for election, and we hope you all come to see it. Thank, Thank you very you. much, guys, Thank for joining you. us.